Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and I recently made my first online fish purchase. I purchased from Live Aquaria and a couple things went wrong. But a couple things went really right in the way that they addressed the problem. So I thought I would make this video, kind of show you what I got from Live Aquaria and what went wrong and how they handled it. So come check it out. I placed an order with Live Aquaria the other day and this was my first time I ever ordered live fish from an online retailer. And it went okay, and I kind of wanted to talk about my experience um, and just kind of let everybody know what happened and kind of the response Live Aquaria had. And I was pretty impressed with the way everything was, ha was handled. So what you're looking at right now is my quarantine tank, and I've got five bangy cardinals in there and one purple dotty back and just for to cover the fish selection because I know people are gonna probably ask five bangies maybe a bit much but in a big tank I'm hoping I'm okay plus their tank graze they've spent their whole lives with lots of other fish I think I'm gonna be okay with five of them in a 90 gallon worst case scenario I can always throw a couple back into here um, this tank is usually completely empty. And then the purple dotty back has a reputation for being kind of an aggressive fish, but it's a really, really gorgeous fish. And it's actually one of the fish that got me into reef keeping a long time ago. Ironically, I've never actually had one until now, but he is just so incredibly beautiful that I thought I had to try one and so far so good this guy is a bit skittish he hides behind the rock but he does a, he hasn't messed with the car, bangy cardinals at all he hasn't shown any aggression whatsoever so so far I think I got pretty lucky with this guy we'll see what happens when I put him in the 90 gallon and he establishes his own territory but so far so good so I'm going to edit the video here, we're going to go up to the 90 gallon and I'll kind of talk about a couple things that went wrong. When I placed my order, I ordered three anemones. I ordered a bulb anemone, which would also be a bubble anemone. I ordered a mini carpet anemone, and I ordered a long tentacle anemone. And instead of the bubble anemone, I got this guy. This is a sabay anemone. And I kind of didn't get the Sabayan enemy because they have a reputation for being difficult. And so far, this guy's actually been okay. My biggest problem I'm having with him is he's not settling in. But it was kind of bad that they sent me the wrong enemy, right? You order one thing, you get another. It's kind of frustrating. I'm kind of happy with the way it all turned out because he's a cool enemy, but he wasn't what I ordered. So. I called Live Aquaria, I told them I got the wrong one, and they told me I had to take a picture and send it in, and then a couple days later they got back to me. They said that it was the wrong anemone, and they credited my account. So they didn't send me a new one, but they credited the account, and that kind of makes sense. As much as overnight shipping a live animal costs, um, I can kind of understand from a business perspective why they would choose to do that. I also ordered a striped Jurassic clam, and forgive me, I don't remember the exact name that he was listed on the Live Aquaria site as, but basically they have lines that run across the entire current lamp and tons of coloration. And this guy's more kind of brown, spotty looking. So I knew he was wrong, and I followed the same process I did on the anemone and they credited my account. It's disappointing to me because that Durasa clam is one I really, really, really wanted. I had been watching those on the site, on the diver's den, on their buy it now for literally months, thinking one of these days I gotta get one of those. They're just so gorgeous. And when I ordered mine, I got the wrong one. The other thing is, he is incredibly small. Um, they give you a little size on the strain and it just doesn't prepare you for how small he really is. 
Um, I'm thinking two inches in my head is bigger than that. But anyways, I'm pretty happy with the fact that I got my money back with no real issues. I'm disappointed I didn't get the clam I want. But I did get a free clam and a free anemone out of the deal. So I can't complain too much about that. I also ordered this mini carpet anemone. And so far he is probably the coolest thing I've ordered. This mini carpet anemone is spectacular. I stuck him up on that rock. He's kind of moved down into a shady area, but he has just acclimated so easily. He's given me absolutely no problems whatsoever. So I'm really happy with him. He is fantastic. I want to get more. They're just, they're great. I want more. The other bad thing that happened was the long tentacle and enemy didn't make it. He came in looking pretty good, but he never really found a place to settle in the tank. He kind of moved around. He blew around. The other thing is, it seemed like the long tentacle an enemy had difficulty walking across the sand bed. He's kind of this long, thin looking an enemy, and he just never settled in. So, um, just last night, I pulled him out of the tank. Um, he was just completely decomposing. He was covered in white and falling apart, and that's when you know they're done. So that was pretty disappointing as well. But I called Live Aquaria this morning, and they really do honor their 14-day guarantee. So I didn't have to do anything. I just called them up, said he died last night, and they credited my account. That's all there was to it. They did ask me if he arrived okay, and I was honest in the fact that he did but that was it he passed away last night I called them and I got a refund so I'm really happy with that there is also a pistol shrimp and high fin goby in here and I'm not gonna show you that they live under this colony of Xenia and since I'm out right now they're hiding but I just saw them both early today and everybody looks happy and healthy. So overall, my experience with Live Aquaria went okay. They didn't do so good in putting the right items I ordered in the bag. They got two wrong, which is pretty bad. And then I had one item die. And I don't really blame Live Aquaria for the item dying. Um, whenever you buy Live Anemones, they're fairly difficult. They come in the mail. They come from Southeast Asia. They get mailed to Live Aquaria. I think these were in California. And then they get shipped to your house and then they have to adapt to a completely different environment than they've ever been used to. And it's really not uncommon for these guys not to make it. That's why I really love my local Rose and Enemy community and the fact that everything my LFS sells in rose bubble tips is aquacultured locally it's just they're extras out of people's aquarium and about 70% of the time he has them in stock so I'm really really happy with that and I really think it's cool and um, this guy's had some pretty big struggles because I was learning the aquarium hobby with him and he has done brilliantly lately the other thing I did really like about Live Aquaria was the pricing. Um, I was able to get my bangies on sale. I was able to get the purple dotty back on sale. The clam that I ordered was on sale. And I ended up saving a bundle of money. I had been looking at bangies locally, um, and unfortunately, they just hadn't gotten any in in quite some time. So I ended up ordering them. And I was happy to see online that they were 50% off. Those bangies were 14 bucks each, which is really pretty good for a bangie. So I was really happy about that. So overall, Live Aquaria, I'm pretty happy with them. They're not so good at picking corals and clams or anemones and clams in my particular situation, but the service was awesome out of them. When I had issues, they 
fixed it in what I consider to be a very satisfactory method. So I thought I'd kind of share this recent order and definitely say I can recommend Live Aquaria to anybody who wants to try them out. Um, I found shipping buying corals online to be relatively easy. You just pick what you want out online and it comes to your house literally the next day before 10.30, which is really cool. So thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. If you like what I do, hit the like button. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.